Dear coffee friends from around the world, it is with a great pleasure that I welcome you to the beginning of a new coffee cycle. We are now in South Hemisphere during the spring season, and the spring that begins for us between September 21st and 22nd, when we have the equinoxial of the sun, where the sun crosses the equator line and starts coming in the direction of the Tropic of Capricorn. This means that our days start to become longer, our temperatures warmer, and it's the trigger for the beginning of the new cycle of rains. Brazil this year is facing a La Nina, a climatic event, because Pacific Ocean waters are a little colder, so some coffee producing zones are receiving less rains and are suffering a heat wave effect. For the ones of you that never experienced a flowering period at origin, I deeply recommend. Unfortunately, I cannot share this astonishing aroma uh, of jasmine and lemon and also the beautiful sound of all the bees that are visiting us during these days. This beauty of nature that we are seeing today, despite being one of the most important phases of the coffee cycle, is still nowadays we don't have a lot of information or research. We know that it, this is a sequence of biochemical, uh, morphological and physiological changes that happen really fast just before the flowering opens. But we also know that the differentiation of the, the flowering buds occurred more than six months ago. So basically, in order we have this beauty event, uh, all the good agronomical techniques must be taken. Basically, the nutrition of the plants, the good application of pruning techniques, plagues and diseases management, and principally, adoption of sustainable good agronomical practices in order to preserve the bees and the other pollinator agents. This is a spectacular event that we are seeing now, and that happens really fast. Basically, the regrowth event of the flowers uh, starts with the beginning of rains. As soon as these rains occur, uh, after 12 to 15 days, the flowers will open and Arabica coffee is self-pollinated. That means when the flowers open, most part of them are already pollinated. But new studies are showing that the bees and pollinator agents are able to increase both uh, screen size and density of the beans because of the crossing pollinization, uh, increasing the genetic variability of the beans. The application of good practices during the coffee cycle is really important first to produce and to preserve the leafy area. The studies show that each bean will require at least 20 square centimeters of leafy area. So having leafy area really well preserved during the flowering period is really, really important in order to assure the production. Also, the management of the soil and the management of the weeds is really important to produce organic matter, to storage water, to recycle nutrients. This makes all the difference during these uh, climatic events. So if you never had the opportunity of experiencing a flowering period at origin, I deeply recommend you, let's try schedule a visit, come to Brazil, come see this astonishing event of the nature and have in mind that every time we see this beautiful event, it started a long time ago and it's the interaction of good practices being applied in the field, respecting the nature and producing high quality specialty coffees. A big hug and I really wish seeing each one of you on 2021.